Mr. Speaker, sir, at the outset, I thank you for the opportunity given to me to participate in this discussion on the Finance Bill. When the Honourable the Finance Minister presented the budget, he had made a number of predictions. In the course of the few weeks that have passed after the presentation of the budget, we have found that some of his statements have not been justified. Before I refer to them, I would like to bring to the notice of the Honourable Members of this House a wrong procedure that has been followed by the Finance Minister himself. If you go through the budgets that were presented earlier, you will find that no additional levies were announced prior to consideration of the bill. When the Honourable the Finance Minister rose to reply to the general discussion on the budget, he reduced certain levies and eliminated some other levies. This is only fair, but he introduced an additional levy on cigarettes. I do not want to go into the merits of the case, but according to the conventions and traditions of this house, such a levy will amount to presentation of a new budget. Such additional taxation can be imposed if they are found necessary only on the occasion of the consideration of the finance bill. I accept and the House also expects from the Finance Minister a clarification about this method when he replies to the debate on this bill. As the Honourable Members are well aware, there is some amount of liberalisation in the matter of direct taxes. 50% of the population live below the poverty line and they have nothing to gain from the above policy of the government. The rich people will only be benefited. The rise in prices will affect the common man to a great extent. There is one more aspect of the economy which I want to mention at the present juncture. It is the very outset and I hope that the minister will take note of it. We are told and we also learn that the report on black money has been submitted by the National Institute of Public Finance. I request the Honourable Minister to see that the said report is placed on the table of the House as early as possible so that we can have a discussion on the subject. This is one aspect which has to be dealt with in great detail. One of the former finance ministers has admitted on the floor of the house that the problem poses a great danger since it has become a parallel economy in the country. I do not know what exactly the extent of black money is. But all will agree that its generation will have to be checked. In this connection, I would like to make a concrete suggestion to the government and particularly to the finance minister. Our entire problem on the economic front is closely connected with the pattern of expenditure in the country. I may point out that the expenditure made by the government departments and others and the consequent circulation of money will determine the level of prices. It is therefore necessary that there should be an effective control on expenditure. I would suggest once again that an expenditure commission may be appointed. That commission will be able to find out the evils facing our economy. Wasteful expenditure will have to be avoided by all means. With these few words, I resume my seat now. Thank you very much.
letter dated 5th January 2003 from Ram Enterprises Chennai to Mrs Gopal and Company Madurai Dear sirs we are very much pleased to receive your kind letter of the first instant we would like to thank you for the enquiry you have made about the various items of goods which we are at present manufacturing and selling we have great pleasure in enclosing here with a detailed catalog and price list which we have recently brought out for the benefit of our customers we would request you to go through the same carefully then you will surely get a fairly good idea about the goods that we manufacture in our own factories under the careful supervision of experts in the field you may please your orders whenever representative visits your place during the first week of next month in case you want the goods to be supplied earlier this month itself you may send orders by post we like to assure you that prompt attention will be given to your orders as and when they are received at this end we solicit your kind cooperation and await the favor of your early orders for supply of goods if possible we would request you to send us a check for an amount covering half the price of the articles required by you in which case you will allow you a discount of 50% yours faithfully